Project Brilliance, and I'm Deborah Anderson. And I'm Stacy Walker. And today we have a special guest named Pressy coming to us. Pressy, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here. Do you mind telling us um, your name, what you do, and how you help people? Yes, so I am Pressy Tripoli. I am based in the Philippines. I am a social media content strategist for entrepreneurs. And also, I am a trainer for aspiring social media managers here in the Philippines. Most of my clients are in the U.S., but I've also worked with clients in the U.K., Canada, and Australia, building content strategies for them, um, specifically social media posts. I'm a digital marketer with, a, with specialties in social media content and email marketing. So I basically help entrepreneurs you know, um, develop strategies for social media in their quest for growing their businesses. Wow. That, you know, I'm listening to this title. That is a mouthful. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, this is a huge, a huge title. <laughs> what you're doing is something that is so needed. Um, and you're here to talk to us about delegating and outsourcing and to help us understand, you know, the tips and, and what we need and what you offer. Yes. Yeah, so I've worked with, um, a lot of American entrepreneurs in the past um, 11 years. And in the process, you know, when they're growing their team, when they need more help with other aspects in their business, aside from social media, I would help them, you know, in their hiring process. Like if they want to hire someone from the Philippines, I would assist in the hiring process. Um, you know, I, I also helped a few connections from my um, attending the social media marketing world for, the, for 19, 2019 and 2020, you know, when they're looking for VAs or SMMs. But I learned that, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs who don't know what they want specifically from, say, a VA or an additional member to their team, they don't know where to outsource. And they hire people sometimes without a filtering process. So basically, they don't really have, you know, a clear and concise system for making sure that they were hiring the right people. And so I've, I've heard these stories from, you know, in person from many of these entrepreneurs that, you know, they've had bad experiences hiring, not just uh, VAs from the Philippines, but also VAs in other parts of Asia or in Europe just because they don't have a process. So for today, I'm going to share with um, you guys uh, some insider secrets for how to hire the right people when uh, you're growing your team through outsourcing. So I'm going to share three steps to growing your team in a practical way. Those three steps, go ahead and, and let us know what it is um, that you yes. want to share in those three steps. Yes. So um, the first thing you've got to ask yourself is, are you looking for a VA who's more of a follower or an initiator? Because, you know, a lot of these entrepreneurs say, okay, I just need somebody who can do social media or I need someone who can do Facebook ads or I, need, I just need someone who can, you know, um, assist me with admin tasks. But first of all, you need to ask yourself, are you uh, preferring someone who would just follow your steps, you know, follow your daily tasks? you know, list everything that they need to do on a daily basis or a weekly basis? Or do you need someone who's more of an initiator, someone who takes the initiative, someone who's more strategic, someone who has, you know, probably a background in business? Because that's very, very crucial. Um, I've, I've worked with clients who would say, you know, Pressy, I, I need someone who would take the initiative. But then <laughs> they would be like giving these VAs tons and tons of tasks that they want to follow like word per word, for example. So as an entrepreneur, as a small business owner, you really need to you know, decide, are you looking for someone who is more comfortable working as a follower? They would need a list of your you know, requirements, your tasks daily weekly or monthly or are you looking for someone who can you know write down a list 
for you know um so for example i am more of an initiator type so i'm more comfortable working with clients who can trust me with a process for example like i have a strategy for content development for social media i have a strategy for setting up a facebook ad and, and i'm going to share it to you but then when you're a follower like you're you're more comfortable working with probably a very organized business owner who would really want for you to do things as they want if you know what i mean so that's 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 exactly the idea for understanding whether you want a va for example a virtual assistant who's more of a follower or do you want someone who's more of an initiator you know they an initiator like lists the things that they can do and then they would you know ask for your approval a follower on the other hand is different from an initiator in that they would want you to write down the the tasks that <laughs> that um that this va would would want to do for you do you know what i mean so that's um understanding whether you want um someone an additional member to your team who is a follower or who is an initiator because from there you can um create a process for making sure that your working relationship goes smoothly mm. it makes a lot of managing expectations that makes a yes, lot of sense exactly. <laughs> yes <laughs> so oh that's goodness. the first one <laughs> but i know when i first started i never even considered thinking <laughs> about that and um yeah. i think that's a wonderful tip yes that's why um those who are more organized when they're hiring people like the the actual business owner mm -hmm. they would even require the applicant to do some personality tests you know just so they could figure out um you know if that that applicant's personality might be the perfect match for the position that they're hiring for that's what my master's in is in IO psychology. And that's like the whole basis of the, the study is, is personality tests and fitting in work environment and so mm -hmm. forth. So mm -hmm. that's great yes. that you cover that. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. So let's go to number two. <laughs> yep. 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 Yes. All for it. Step is, this is especially if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of budget, you know, for, you know, starting your business or growing your team. So many entrepreneurs um, abroad would outsource to the Philippines. And this is because Filipinos have a great command of the English language. Like most online freelancers, you would expect them to really have a good grasp of the English language if they're not the, um, the, the perfect, you know, verbal communicators, they can comprehend what you say because we are you know we are very much influenced uh, of the american culture since world war ii like a lot of my former clients actually had no idea that we used the english language as early as preschool <laughs> and so like they had no idea that it's our major language in in schools currently you know, whatever is popular, whatever is the popular song in America, for example, or the popular movie, like what the popular TV series, that's practically what Filipinos are watching too. <laughs> so yeah, so, um, so Filipinos have a great command of the English language. However, there are still challenges. Um, you know, we, we, we are in a culture where we are not we, we could be not as blunt as you guys in America, because I think it's because of the colonization, the history of colonization in my country, from the time of the Spaniards to the Japanese to the Americans. So we have this culture of, you know, should I say this? I I might hurt someone else's feelings. We, we sometimes have the the, um challenge of saying things as they are however there are still filipino virtual assistants who have embraced you know american culture so that's why i always tell my students since like i mentioned earlier i am also a trainer to aspiring social media managers here in the philippines 
I always, um, you know, inject some points about the fact that, you know, if it's, you know, if, if, if you're at work, we don't have to be offended when, when our output is criticized because it's, it's about the work. It's not an attack to our, <laughs> you know, personality. So those are just some of the challenges. And you need to have a clear definition of roles and responsibilities before you even um, publish that job post. You have to be very specific on the soft skills and the hard skills that you're looking for. Um, in that um, position that you're opening. And then, so number one, why, why, do we, why can you outsource to the Philippines? It's more affordable, um, but Filipinos have a great command of the English language. However, you need to have a clear definition of roles and responsibilities, like the soft skills, what are the people skills, the social skills, or communication skills that you're looking for. And then the hard skills. This is when you can, like, write the specific tasks and processes such as the tools the equipment or the software that you're looking for in a social media manager in a website designer your executive assistant so on and so forth and then lastly under under the second step of outsourcing to the philippines what um, are you more comfortable with uh, paying the va hourly or fixed rates so those are also very crucial because with hourly, you can be paying more for lesser time, but for fixed rates, that's what most Filipino VAs would want because they would want to pay fixed monthly that motivates them more to do, to, to do what you're expecting of them. And they don't mind you know, going the extra mile because you know, they're motivated because they know that you know, by the 15th or the 30th, they're receiving this um, much amount of money. However, communication skills, again, are very important. Um, so you, there's just um, some, some effort needed to you know, kind of like explain to the VA that they're not just um, you know, an employee because again, it's part of the culture here in the Philippines. You need to make them feel that you know, you're in my team, I invested in you because you know, I need you to help me grow my business. And that would, you know, help them become more motivated. The third point now is the solid processes and systems. So um, I've worked with a lot of clients in the past looking for, you know, additional members to the team, but they don't have a specific, like, standard for when do you want to meet your VA for a virtual call? Is it on a Friday or and or on a Friday on a, uh, a Monday or a Friday or Mondays and Fridays? Like you need to set because some <laughs> some Filipino VAs, if you don't have this um, you know specific uh, uh, day during the week where you can have a quick call and then they don't hear anything from you just because you're busy they would think, oh my gosh, like my client probably has forgotten about me or maybe they, they hired someone else. <laughs> you know, it's just, and they, you know, um, many of us would be like shy to ask uh, just to follow up. Like, do I still have my job? <laughs> like they feel like, they feel like, um, they feel like it's embarrassing to ask but then again with my students I always tell them you know you have to put yourself in the shoes of these entrepreneurs because they're so busy sometimes you know they 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 like it's a Monday today and then all of a sudden they don't realize that it's already Friday tomorrow <laughs> and these entrepreneurs have this um impression that oh my VA got it covered you know, so I would always tell my students, you know, if you don't hear anything from them, you know, follow up. Like there's no, um, there's nothing wrong with just checking up on them and then making sure that, you know, you're still on the same page. And then again, I would always tell my students, you know, just do that end of day report. Even if they're not, they're not replying, just do that end of day report email. Let them know that you've accomplished this or that don't wait on them to follow up on you. Um, the, the great thing is that you, you know, you, you make an extra effort, you go the extra mile to let them know that this is what you've done for the day, this is what you've accomplished, 
This is what you plan on doing the next day. This is what you plan on accomplishing by the end of the week. You know, so yeah. So 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 far, my stu- you know the students who excelled in my trainings have been doing a really great job. And yeah, so those are the three the three um, steps to growing your team. The practical way, especially if you are thinking about outsourcing uh, to the Philippines. Number one, again. Um, decide whether you want a VA who's more of a follower or who's more of an initiator. Number two, again, outsource to the Philippines. There are just some things that you need to remember, especially when you're um, publishing the job post in Upwork. Um, there are also other sites out there, say, say for example, online jobs that PH that specific, specifically cater to um, entrepreneurs, uh, foreign entrepreneurs looking for Filipino VAs, um, you know, your job post must have, you know, the soft skills and the hard skills outlined and whether you want the hourly or the fixed rates. And lastly, number three, solid processes and systems for monitoring their work and communicating with these VAs. Wow, you have offered this complete package on how to actually, you know, go from point A to point B for some of us that keep thinking, oh, someday, someday. Wow, Stacy, yes. what are your thoughts? I know there are some things that I didn't even think of, and I have a team right now that you're bringing up that I never considered before. It all comes back down to the business owner. And Pussy, how do people awesome. find you? How do they get in touch with you and connect with you online? Yeah, so you can check me out. I have my website, expressitripoli.com and across all social media channels that you know of, it's my social media handle or username is at Pressy Tripoli across Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, exactly. Pinterest, <laughs> and even TikTok. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. And also, you have a, a free gift for viewers and Package yes. Your Brilliance series? Yes, so I have this seven caption formulas that you can use for your social media posts. Like, I've been doing this since 2013, and you know, having templates for your social media posts are really important. It's only seven, but there's a lot of meat in there because it's focused on your customer rather than, you know, self-promotion. You definitely have an excellent grasp of conversational English. And that's, you know, it's a difference. You can speak the different, but I mean, you've yeah. got it as far as so that we understand oh, exactly. You. So your students must really be learning a lot. This is, this is awesome what you oh, shared. Yeah. Like from the very beginning, I would tell them, are you sure you want to become a social media manager? Because this training is not going to be easy. <laughs> right, right. And now what about those final nuggets, those words of wisdom? Yes, I've worked with a lot of entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, as most especially. And, you know, they have this fear of, you know, um, letting go of control. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so you know just go for it like if you want to grow your team there's help out there you don't have to do everything on your own however you also need to do the work like clarity and vision you just really need to you know sit down and you know stop saying oh I have it in my head or like you know I, I'm gonna do it next week or next week and just you know just do it now write down the jo- that job post you want to publish or you may also reach out to me if you need help because I've trained a lot of students um, become VAs or social media managers. Um, you know, I, I would I would be very happy to recommend any of them whom I've seen had great potential because they went through my intensive training. Excellent. And we've seen some of that just, just listening to what you've been sharing. With us. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Pressy. We really appreciate what you share and that you mm-hmm. come to join us at Package Your Brilliance. And this has been another episode of Hackature Brilliant.